a self-join. A self-join is as it states. It's a join of an object to itself. It's a join of a table to itself. We have one example in our concept schema where the category is listed as having a parent category within the same table. It could be split into two tables. There's no reason why not. You could have two separate tables, one containing categories and one containing parent categories. However, I chose in this data model to put them in the same table. A self-join would simply select a category and then select the parent based on the category. So you could, you could match the parent name and the child name. So you'd have, for instance, a category and a category group. See an example of a self-join later on. It's just important to remember that a self-join is really a join on the same table, a table joining to itself. Equi joins, anti joins, and range joins. Equi implies equals, anti implies not or negative, and range implies between or less than, greater than. We'll go more into equi, anti, and range joins at a later stage. At this point, I would like to state that equi joins using the equal signs generally do exact matches and are faster than anti joins, which, since they are doing the negative of the equals, in other words, they're searching for something that's not, they generally resort to full table scans. Range joins are generally faster than anti joins, but a little slower than equi joins because they do range index scans. Mutable or complex joins. The word mutable means subject to change. Sometimes I get confused as to why these joins were called mutable since they're subject to change. This could mean that they should be changed since they are over complex, or it could mean MU for multi-table, multiple table join. A mutable join and a complex join are not quite the same thing, although they're very similar. A mutable join is a join between more than two tables. A complex join is the same as a mutable join. It's a join between more than two tables, apart from the fact that it has added filtering. So a mutable join would be, for instance, as shown in the diagram, a join between the three act, show, and venue tables, passing out some data. The complex join would then apply filtering to that data and perhaps retrieve a few of the rows retrieved from the original mutable join very slight difference between a mutable and a complex joint.